Vishan. Hi. Hi. Are you excited about today's collection? Yes, of course. It's okay. going great, I guess. Okay, so what's the inspiration behind your collection today? Uh, usually I do a lot of uh, clothes inspired by uh, architecture and sculpture. So it's mostly along those lines and it's modern architecture and uh, modern silhouettes, basically. So why did you choose architecture for a fashion design? Um, it's what I'm inspired by, so uh, you can never like say how you find your inspiration or what it means. It's just it's what you're inspired by. So can you tell me something about your education? Yes, I studied at AOD in International. Um, so basically, that's my like route for fashion design and like studying uh, in fashion design, and that's where I learned most of the knickknacks and the things of the trade. So that's where I studied. <laughs> So are you excited about today's collection? Of course, of course. It's it's amazing experience. I it's my first time here, so let's see. <laughs> so how did you get to uh, show at Bright Sparks? Um, well, we kind of uh, told to like send our applications, I guess. So we kind of like sent in our application, and then we yeah shortlisted, and then we were chosen. <laughs> Congrats, uh, Vishan. I hope you have a great collection. Bye. <laughs> Step outside. There we go. Give us a big smile, Richard, for the cameras. Well, ladies and gentlemen, please join me in warmly welcoming Azra Parikh's collection. with me how's it going um, pretty good I guess what do you think of the CFW are you excited you're showcasing your designs today uh, well yeah it's my first time doing a big show so definitely I'm excited let's talk about where you draw your inspirations from uh, my inspiration for this collection was the mountains I grew up around mountains so okay. uh, it's basically uh, that's where I'm going. And what has the CFW experience been like so far uh, it's been uh, stressful but fun and you know now I feel really happy now that yeah. I'm done with my collection. And let's talk about your designing career. When did you start? How did you start? And how did you end up here? Um, well... <laughs> it's just something that came? Yeah, it just happened. I have no explanation. How long have you been designing for? Um, five years. Five years? Wow. Yeah. And let's talk about your designing background. Where else do you draw inspirations from? Is it just the mountains or do you have any other um, Or is it this collection just for the mountains? It was just this collection uh, that I drew inspiration from the mountains. But uh, usually it's whatever that inspires me, nothing in particular. I see something, I like it, then yeah, that's how it works. Alright, thank you very much and all the best.
and gentlemen, Azra Tariq. A round of applause for Azra Tariq. If you can step outside, please. We want to appreciate you. There we go. Stick around for a few more seconds to see the pictures. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Rima Samaranaika's collection. <laughs> inspiration behind your collection today? Uh, it's the traditional weaving art which is called Gokkhala, the tender palm leaf weaving art and I was inspired with the shapes and the weaving techniques and for my collection I have taken the same weaving method and I have combined with the pattern making method and all and then only I've done my collection. So were you inspired by this long before you started fashion designing? Uh, yes, actually this happened like in 2008. I was I read an article, then only I was inspired. I was uh, thinking about this art, then I got inspired by this. Yeah. Are you excited about your collection tonight? Yes, I am. Yes. So, what? Tell us something about your studies, your fashion designing studies. Yes, uh, I did my uh, BA uh, in the University of Northampton, UK. And then I just graduated last year, so here I am. So I'll be looking for more opportunities in Sri Lanka. So can you tell me how you got selected to show at Bright Sparks? Yeah, because uh, once I came down, once I got graduated, and I just uh, showed my designs to the Bright Sparks team. It's my graduate collection, I and I have I added some more designs to the my collection. So that's the final collection that I'm going to show you tonight. Thank you so much for joining with us. Outstanding collection. Kasun Gunavardhana, he's the recipient of the Fashion Fun Award. Hi. Hi Kasun. So what was your inspiration behind the collection we can see today? This collection was basically along the lines with my previous collection, which was called Dhyana, meaning detachment. And um, it was inspired by Japan. So this collection is like the sort of a diffusion line that shows more relaxed, more contemporary silhouettes as opposed to the initial one. And it's called Nane, meaning cleansing. And it's completely hand woven, uh, sustainable and ethical. Um, you can see it right there. 
you want to. That's lovely. So, what do you think about the award? You are like an amazing recipient of this amazing glamorous award. What do you feel about it? I'm um, extremely driven and motivated because I just graduated last year and I was just thinking what I'm going to do now. I'm a designer. I don't really want to work in the industry and I wanted to do this like sustainability and this is like the perfect platform right now. They recognize it and they celebrate it. So, are you excited for the show tonight? I am very, <laughs> very excited. Thanks. Thank you so much, Kasman, for joining with us. Thank you. So I got the man behind it all, Ajay Veer Singh. How's it going, Ajay? It's going very good. Very Congratula excited. Congratulations on a fantastic kickoff for CFW. We're really excited. What's it been like? Well, it's been very interesting because Bright Spark I really like because Bright Spark is was looking at the future because that's where the, you know there's be a supply chain for new set of designers to mm -hmm. come. So we invest a lot of time and space in terms of for Bright Spark to come up so that it, you know so we have more designers in the platform in the main platform. So so we're really excited with that. And if you saw the standard this time was much better than last one, mm -hmm. right? And uh, yeah. And let's talk about the whole fashion village at the, the Hilton. What was the inspiration behind that? I was very tired of the ballroom yeah. and, and so four we. walls, <laughs> right? And after five years, I couldn't think of anything else. You know, yeah. I could have still done something, but I thought, you know, let's take go, go a step up. And I thought, you know, they had a good space around here, and we could just make it into a fashion village. So there's a fashion cafe, retail, bright spark. The main show uh, happens there. The new thing is the retail platform that's across there. So it's like it's a nice space. You know, it's a it's a it's a good feel. So bright sparks was a fantastic success. What's in store for the audiences for CFW, the main show? Well, we're very excited. I think there's, there's uh, you know, it'll be, it'll be very, very different, right? The whole setup is a little different this time. And uh, so we need to be pushing the boundaries further. So, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah it's, a, it's a big surprise. <laughs> so, uh, you've been working with Prasad and Dirk for ages. And how's that partnership come along? Is it just growing stronger and stronger? Because you guys are like an unstoppable force. Yeah, and it works really well. I'm the spoiled brat. And they, <laughs> and, they, and they work with me, you know. Uh, I think they, their age, I can't tell them that. <laughs> their age comes in play very well. <laughs> All right, thank you very much, Ajay, and all the best. We'll see you soon. Thanks, thanks a lot. So, Ajay called himself the spoiled brat, so that I guess that makes you the big daddy. I think so, I'm everybody's big daddy. <laughs> the legendary Prasad Vidava. Prasad, nice to have you back. How's it going? Lovely, always great to be back in Colombo. Mm. I love being here. And Colombo Fashion Week is just the most exciting time for me. All right, let's talk about the potential you see in Bright Sparks. I thought Bright Sparks is fantastic. You know, Anjali Flamer Caldera put the whole show together. And I thought that today I saw three collections out of the eight which were outstanding. They were good enough to be in the main show. And the others were catching up pretty fast. So Bright Sparks becomes a crucible for talent and for finding the next big thing. And you know, Colombo buzzes with design, so it's All lovely right. to see these so you youngsters see this come evil up. Evil smile this. coming up on my face, <laughs> and that's going to be who are these three young designers that you thought were exceptional and you thought could be put on the runway? <laughs> I liked Azra's work a lot, it was very good. Today's swimsuit designer was very good, and in the second half, both the first and the last section of menswear were outstanding. They were very, very good, great ideas, fresh thinking, new approaches, and that's exactly what we all need in world markets. And Colombo is going to be the center and the capital of resort wear in the world. Yeah, yeah. All and right. that's going to and, happen. And we've moved out of the ballroom. It's a little hot, but it's a nice change. 
I think so too, you know, because Fashion Week has to go on regardless, you know. It doesn't really matter about the location. What matters is the designers, the clothes, the design talent that Sri Lanka can put forward so well into a world viewpoint. And I think that Colombo Fashion Week has done exemplary service in bringing designers to the fore. And I'm really looking forward to this year's outing. We've got 30 great designers and a majority Sri Lankan. More than 20 of them are Sri Lankan and it's going to be a fantastic event. But you know what I'm looking forward to more than the show? The rehearsal with Pat Prasad. That's the best part. <laughs> so do come and visit us tomorrow at 11 in the morning. We'll see you. Prasad, so that's not all you're going to hear from Prasad. You're going to be talking to Prasad over the next couple of days as well. Sure thing. I'd love Thank to. you so much. Love and to we'll be see you on soon. here. Take Thank care. you. Bye bye. Bye. Wow, so Bright Spark was just blossoming and in abundance of phenomenal talent, didn't you think, Ashan? Definitely, Rehan. And I thought that the collections we saw, saw today were really, really lovely and they were vibrant, different. And from something, it was quite uh, nice to see something coming out of Sri Lankan talent, you know? Mm -hmm. it's, it's great for the future. I mean, yeah, that, that's simply amazing. And kudos to CFW and the team behind Bright Spark for putting that together. So. That's it from us today from High TV. We're going to be coming to you from the first and the second and the third day of CFW. So keep watching High TV. Take care.